Hey everybody, it's your girl Chef Shetty, and today it's gonna be rotini and chill. So what I'm making tonight is going to be some rotini macaroni and cheese with broccoli. This technically is my macaroni and cheese recipe. The only difference that I'm doing tonight is I am making it with rotini and I'm throwing fresh broccoli in there and baking it. But if you wanted to do traditional baked macaroni and cheese, this would be the same exact recipe, just replace with elbow and do not put the broccoli in it. So check back with me. I'm going to throw this in a pot of boiling water. All right, I'm going to my oven deepen. I'm going to throw in a little bit of salt and a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick. All right, and then so check back with me once this boils. I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I mix in to my macaroni and cheese. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. The noodles are done boiling, and what I have here is, as you can see in the camera, it's steamed. Um, what I'm going to add to this is half a stick of margarine, or half a cup of margarine, we should say. Just mix that a little bit. Let that get all melted down, and incorporate it. I'm going to add to this some black pepper. Black pepper at your discretion. I love a lot of black. Uh, I love a lot of black pepper, um, but that's entirely up to you. Um, you definitely want to salt your noodles. You can use any salt you want: kosher salt, sea salt, whatever. Um, I just use regular salt. I don't use as much salt in my recipes, but certain things you have to salt. Potatoes you have to salt. Macaroni and cheese you have to salt. If you don't, it will have a bland, nasty taste, and you don't want to do that. So, I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Alright, so once that's mixed in, what I'm going to do is add this jar. This is my best friend to my macaroni and cheese. It's the double cheddar ragu. I love it. This is what I use. I pour that all in. And I mix. Mix that, get that all incorporated. Now save your jar, don't throw it out yet, because there are things that I'm going to add to this um, to jazz it up. Alright, so to this, I'm going to have a bag. Now you can take the block and shred. Um, and you know hand shred a lot of people do that you can also take um, the um, block and chop into little squares and put in I buy because it's quicker like this I just buy it already pre bagged um, already pre shredded um, but there's times in certain macaroni and cheese recipes that I do have that I do cut my cheese up or that I do hand shred but when it's just like a regular dinner um, quick macaroni and cheese just just use the shredded bag it's easy um, your stuff will bake easier sorry I'm dropping all this stuff everywhere and so you mix that in like that right all right so to this jar I'm gonna add one egg and I've already cracked it in here because I didn't want any shells and what I do is I take this and I shake it around to break up the egg. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your food. Hey, shake your food. I do sing this song every time. <laughs> All right. So to that, what I'm going to add is some milk. You need some milk. So what I do is I fill the milk up. Now, um, again, different recipes call for different things. Um, this particular one, I'm using regular vitamin D whole milk. Put the top back on. Shake. 
get that all incorporated in there. Okay, at this point, I add a little bit more pepper. And my thing is, if I'm not sneezing, it might not be enough pepper, but it's all good. I, I ain't sneezing because I've been taking <laughs> a lot of uh, antibiotics. You know, everybody's too scared to, to sneeze these days, so try not to sneeze. All right. And then also, I add to that, again, after I mix that bag, Tillamook. If you have not tried Tillamook cheese, it is the bomb. I, again, have the pre-shredded, but you can always buy the block and cut it up. And honestly, that block of cheese tastes like the old school, back in the day, block welfare cheese that people used to make their homemade macaroni and cheese with. Oh, it's so good. So, this one is the triple cheddar, and it's thick, and it actually looks like it was uh, hand shredded. That's why I like it. But I add that in also. And I do this like this because I want it, you know, I do it so that this cools down a little bit before I add all my other ingredients. So, to this, I'm going to add my milk an egg mixture okay i get that all mixed in there and incorporate it i don't do heavy mixing and i don't add you know i at least wait until um this is a little bit cooled down before i add the milk and egg uh, mixture because i don't want um eggs scrambled eggs in my macaroni and cheese i can't stand to see that in people's macaroni and cheese it annoys the crap out of me I'm like, I hate when stuff spills out. Okay, so to that, I'm going to add, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and add the broccoli. So I have some broccoli florets that I washed and cleaned and chopped. I roughly chopped them um, because we like the broccoli taste. So I roughly chopped that, add that in there. Move that out the way. And whoops, drop one. No. So you just um, lightly mix that in. And then once I mix this in a little bit, I add one more ingredient, which I forgot to grab ahead of time. But um, the last little ingredients I add, and I only add this, which is garlic powder. I add a little bit of it um, into this. My regular macaroni and cheese recipe, I don't add garlic powder. But to the broccoli, I do. Just to give it that extra boost and taste. Alright, so once that's mixed in, I add my last bag of cheese. This time around, I'm using just pure mild cheddar. Just to get that in there. Okay. Mix it in, and I lightly mix, and usually I use a metal spoon, but for some reason I picked up this white plastic one today, which bends every time it's got something heavy in it, but you guys get the picture anyway. Alright, so I go ahead and I get this in my baking dish. All right, you guys, I'm back. It's been 30 minutes. Now, I do have a gas range. So, 30 minutes for me. I like to see how the edges are golden brown. That's when I usually know it's done. I don't really want the middle too crispy and crusty. Um, but if you have an electric stove, if you know your oven has funky um, cook time, it cooks slow, then do it for 40 minutes. But mine is 30. And as you can see here, do the close-up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Now to this, what I also made that's gonna go with our dinner tonight is Sam. Um, sorry, Sam. Some garlic and herb salmon. Um, garlic herb butter salmon. So I made the butter um, garlic herb butter sauce um, on top of some salmon. So that's for dinner tonight, and that's going to go with this glorious, 
macaroni and cheese with broccoli. So that's it. That's dinner tonight. Hope you guys like this recipe. And for more recipes and recipe ideas, I did start my YouTube channel. It's uh, Cooking with Chef Shetty. I think I'm going to change it back to Pink Grits, though. So just um, if you look for Pink Grits, it should be there on YouTube or under um, Cooking with um, Chef C. Bangs. That, I think, is what's, what's under it right now. But um, just check me out. And I hope to talk to you guys later. Bye.